Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Hope you all are doing well. Summer is incomplete without cold refreshing drinks. Hence thought of sharing few drinks and these could be prepared with readily available ingredients. Beginning with a watermelon drink. When I was preparing this, I was at my parents' house. I saw this watermelon lying in the fridge so decided to prepare a drink with a bit of change rather than the usual one which itself tastes refreshing. I cut out all the fleshy parts of the watermelon, kept that in a bowl and this needs to be kept in the freezer. And there you get the frozen watermelon pieces. It doesn't stick to each other so you can store in large amount and use only what's needed. I anyway needed this much for preparing juice for everyone at home so took all of them. Then you need a handful of mint leaves, one whole lime or half a lemon. This is optional adding a small piece of green chilli will give that kick to the drink. Add the ingredients to a blender. Add lime juice. You can blend just the watermelon pieces and mint and blend to make it a slush. That itself is very refreshing. Here I am making a drink. Added a small piece of the chilli. Add some cold water and blend again. Add that to a jug. Pour more cold water to reduce the thickness. Add sugar as per needed. To balance it all, add a pinch of salt. And there you get this refreshing drink. Have it chilled. You may add few ice cubes into the glass and enjoy sipping. Next is orange iced tea. I had once shown another version of the same. This is chilled one. So let's see the preparation. Here I am showing the quantity for 3 oranges. Slice them and add to a vessel. Add 1 cup sugar. You can add more or less, it's up to you. Then goes a big cinnamon stick and few cloves. Add 1 cup water. You may add one more cup to make more. Here with this I got a total of 5 glasses of iced tea. Keep on medium flame and once it starts to boil, keep on low flame for some time till you get a thick syrup. Don't forget to check and give a mix in between. After around 15 minutes, the water in it would have reduced a bit and now it's time to add tea powder. Add 2 to 2.5 two teaspoon. Give a mix and let it simmer for 2 minutes. Switch off the flame and let it completely cool down. Now strain. And there you get the syrup which can be even stored for at least a week in the fridge. Now some of you had asked on how to get that crystal rim on the glass. All you need to do is rub lemon or lime on the rim of the glass. Place that on sugar crystals. Add ice cubes. Pour the orange tea syrup and then fill it up with soda or cold water. The syrup will have enough sugar in it. If not, you may add more while serving. Garnish with an orange slice and serve the refreshing drink.
Next is another spicy drink with pineapple. Here again you can avoid the spiciness by removing the green chilli from the ingredient list. Cut pineapple into chunks and add to a blender. Squeeze one lime or half a lemon. Here I added one whole chilli as this wasn't spicy. You can add a small piece just like how I added for the watermelon drink or simply skip. Add some mint leaves and ice cubes. Add some sugar. A pinch or quarter teaspoon salt. And crush some black pepper. Blend well. Strain. Add the remains back into the blender, add more ice cubes and blend again. Add more water to adjust the thickness but let it be a bit thick as you will be adding soda into the glass. The drink is ready, put ice cubes into serving glass, pour half the pineapple drink and the rest will be soda. Garnish with a slice of lime and mint leaves. And there you have your refreshing drink. Next is a slight change given to a traditional drink, oven milk. Usually banana is used authentically. I had lots of ripe mangoes in my fridge, so why not use that for oven milk? And I love the combination of mango and coconut milk. So for this you'll need one whole coconut. You can extract the milk from it if you want. I added as such as the coconut was blended well. Add that to a mixing bowl and add some more water. To this I added 4 medium very ripe mangoes that's chopped in cubes or you may even mash them and add. But do not blend in a blender. Let there be chunks of the mangoes so that you can get that bite while having it. Add chopped nuts. Here I've used chopped cashews and almonds. The mangoes I've used here is very ripe and sweet. I didn't add any sugar just to keep it healthy. You may add if required. Add ice cubes. Now you may drink as such, but adding poha or avil, that's a flattened rice, takes it to the next level. Just wash and strain the avil. Pour the chilled mix to it. Check the sweetness and add if needed. Garnish with nuts or toasted avil and have it chilled. That's a refreshing and a filling drink. Next is another simple drink using few readily available ingredients, main being ginger. Peel ginger and crush them. You can chop them too but crushing is better. To 1 cup crushed ginger, add 1 and half cups sugar, then go zest of 1 lime. Now you may peel the lime or lemon and add to the vessel but make sure you use only the yellow part. The white part will give you a bitter taste. Add 1 to 1 and half cup water and boil on low flame for 15 minutes. Strain and let it cool down. Once it cools down, squeeze one lime into it. You may even squeeze into the serving glass. Add 
ice cubes and pour some of the ginger syrup. The rest is chill soda or water. Garnish with a slice of lime and mint leaves. And that's the final drink. And that's for all the drinks for today. Hope you all would try it out. Do share your feedback with pictures through my Instagram or email. If you like today's video, do give a thumbs up so that I know and don't forget to share among your friends and family. See you with another video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.